Hi, welcome to Lunalogy Tarot. I'm Juju, and this is going to be a collective love reading for February, a general collective love reading for February 2022. Please keep in mind these readings are very general, so take what resonates, leave the rest. If it's not your story, don't try to make it fit. Also, please keep in mind that everything is subject to free will and the will of the divine. No one is free from law of cause and effect. If you would like to get a personal reading with me, then information will be in the description box below, um, as well as my Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Twitter, what have you. Please like this video. And um, subscribe to my channel. It really means a lot to me. It motivates the hell out of me. All right, let's see. What's going on for the collective in love? What's going on for the collective in love? Sunflower. Spotlight. Happiness. Success. Okay. And magic mirror. Self-care. Reflecting inner work. So I feel like here, somebody here is doing a lot of shadow work here. Some things are being highlighted here about self-care and doing the inner work that needs to be done in order to attract somebody who is better for you because somebody here is wearing a mask and something may be forbidden here we got past life connection going away book of shadows as well and if y'all can see that we also have book of shadows messages magic and manifestation so what are you manifesting in love so if you're operating from a place of subconscious level then you're going you're gonna to manifest from there, right? There's a saying by Carl Jung, and it says, Knowing your own darkness is the best method for dealing with the darkness of other people, by Carl, Carl Jung, who was a famous depth psychologist. So I really like his work, so definitely check him out, you know, look him up and stuff. He's got some really deep stuff that can help you do a lot of this inner shadow work. Because it feels like what's being spotlighted here is the need for doing inner work. Because you keep attracting things or people who are already connected and that needs to change. That needs to go away here. That needs to come to an end. And if somebody here is receiving messages here about how they're manifesting and they're not really listening. Okay? Because they're operating from a subconscious level versus a conscious level. Alright, what else please? What else please in love? Why is Sunflower here? Show me Sunflower. We got Heaven. Manifesting your dreams. Exactly. So if you want to manifest your dreams, you've got to operate from a place of consciousness. Okay? Because if you're going to manifest from your subconscious and you haven't done the inner shadow work, you haven't done the deeper dive, you might be manifesting a nightmare versus a dream come true. So be careful with that. Why is self-care magic mirror here, please? Why is that here for love? And now this could be, obviously roles can be reversed. This could be someone else who's doing this. But um, also it could be you. Okay? Or it could be someone around you. Magic mirror, please. Phantom, needless worry, waiting, and stop. Somebody here needs to stop worrying about if you're going to get your divine partner or not. Whether you want to call it a twin flame, the divine masculine, divine feminine, whatever. Okay, whatever you want to label it, your person. Somebody here needs to stop worrying about that. When it's time for you for that person to come in, that person will come in. And that's not, because think of it like this. Why would the divine bring you your person if you haven't done the shadow work and you're just going to self-sabotage it anyways? Right? Or vice versa. Right? And the divine, God, Buddha, Krishna, Muhammad, whomever it is that you align yourself with, the universe, source, whomever. To me, it's all the same thing. It's all the same being to me personally. That's my belief. Um... The divine isn't going to send you someone else's spouse and have that relationship work out for you because that's not how this works, right? I mean, they may as a lesson, but not as to be committed forever, right? Well, why is forbidden here? And I feel like that's what the forbidden card is. Somebody here is believing, somebody here believes that there's a third party here who believes that their person or the person that they're dealing with is their divine counterpart. But that person is already in a relationship and or married. And this, it's forbidden. Okay. This is, it's an affair. It's an adultery type of thing. And I'm not passing judgment on you by any stretch of the means, but to ask yourself, why would the divine send you somebody else only for this to be, for them to not leave that person for you. Right? 
And if they leave that person for you, will they be faithful to you? Because you got to think if they cheat with you, they'll cheat on you. Right? Why is forbidden here? Can be forbidden. Skeleton, sketchy, incomplete, and minimal. You're getting the bare minimum. You're not getting what is really aligned with you. You're not. This is a deeper message this time. And I feel like this is looking at you versus looking at this person. Now, obviously, it could very well be reversed. Um, if you're, if this is your situation, please like this video. Please subscribe to my channel. If this is your situation, let me know in the comment section as well. Okay. I'd like to connect with you guys more, but it's forbidden because and it's sketchy because it's forbidden. It's not, it's not for you. The divine isn't going to send you somebody else's husband or wife or partner. Only but to teach you a lesson. So this needs to go away, right? The sketchiness. Like you're receiving the bare minimum, if at all the minimum. Okay? And the reason why is because it's forbidden. It's not for you. Why cemetery here? Okay. Demon. Beware negative thoughts. That needs to go away. Okay? This is forbidden, and it's, it's sketchy because it is forbidden. It's incomplete. It can never be completed. Because this person isn't for you. This person's creating a lot of negative thoughts in your life, in your mind, about yourself. Which is only a reflection of your subconscious about how you actually feel about yourself. Right? And that needs to be worked on. And that's no judgment towards you. Hell, I mean, we've all been there. I've been there. You know, we've all been there. We've all done things we shouldn't have done. We've all entertained people we shouldn't have entertained. You know, I'm no different from you guys. I'm a human being. I make mistakes and I've, uh, I've, you know, tolerated things I shouldn't tolerate it. I've made mistakes I shouldn't have made, but I learned something from it. You know, why is the mess? What's the message here? What's the book of shadows here? Somebody really needs to do some sh serious shadow work here because they keep attracting the same type of people. Just with different faces. We have snake. Release energy and restore your health. Time travel. Finding the right timing. It's time to do this. Poisoned apple. Warning, deceit, and ill intent. Somebody here has ill intent towards you. And you're not seeing it because you need to do shadow work. You keep, I feel like somebody here keeps giving somebody a chance after chance after chance after chance after chance after chance after chance. After chance and it's because of a self-worth issue. That someone has. And I'm not judging you, okay? I mean, hell, I've been there. You know, it is... Ugh, that's a tough road. But it is a very valuable, intrinsic lesson that must be learned. Um, as I swept the deck, I got in, extra sensory perception using your intuition, crystal ball, planning for the future. In order to plan for a future, you, you're, you don't want to operate from a subconscious level. You want to operate from a conscious level, like I said before. It's time to see this person's true intent or to see your own intent. What are your intentions, right? There's an inner, it's time to release. It's time to release, to let it go, to let this person go, to let this situation go. It could be dealing with a Scorpio, a Capricorn, a Sagittarius. I also get a Gemini. But it's time to release. It's not coming to fruition. And there's a reason for that. This person has... The, the negative thoughts need to go away. The negative thoughts you have about yourself and about others need to go away. But this person here... Be mindful because there is a warning here. Of someone's ill intention. And deceit. What's this poisoned apple about? Show me the poisoned apple. The year just not seeing it. Zombie unfinished business. This person may feel like... This may be... A a past person. This could be a person that maybe you've recently released and they feel like there's unfinished business because did you learn the lesson? What is this unfinished business about? What's this lesson or this unfinished business about? Potion, poison, pressure, upheaval, mistake. There's, uh, there's karma here. There's karma here that needs to be worked through. But you don't have to work it through with this person. You have to work it through within yourself. That's what I feel. That's what, I'm, that's what spirit is actually saying, and that's what I'm feeling intuitively. 
Yeah, recovery. Three of Swords Reverse. There needs to be recovery. Forgiveness of self. Um, I get somebody here needs to work through some childhood trauma. Yeah, recovery. And then you receive the actual offer, but not from this person. This is new. This is a new person. Once you do this recovery work, you will get the love that you deserve. But you've got to stay in your power here, your personal power. You're give, someone here is giving up their power to somebody who doesn't mean them well and calling it love. This is a deep message. Yeah, you want victory in, a, in something that you need to retreat from because it needs to be balanced. It's not balanced. It's not balanced. Someone's giving to two and it's not balanced and it doesn't, it's not ever going to be. And you giving it your power, giving in your all, to expecting a victory that you actually need to retreat from, is taking you out of your power. Whether you're male or female, doesn't matter. What else, please? Yeah, you want this person to come back. And you might, because you might allow them. But remember, this person who thinks that there's unfinished business, or you feel like there's unfinished business, doesn't have the best of intentions. There will be upheaval, there will be pressure, and there will be a lot of mistakes. Do you want to, do you really want to take that time to teach somebody how to love you? Or you want to show somebody how to love you, by how you love yourself, right? Yeah, you have clarity. Seven of Cups reverse. You have clarity with the Seven of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck in reverse. It's not a good investment. There's clarity here. Why are you investing in something that you know damn well is not a good investment? Right? They don't want me to get guidance on this. So this is a pretty serious message for somebody because when spirit doesn't want me to get guidance, it means they want you to surrender and to not know the next step because it's about surrendering. So I can't give guidance. Um, you could be dealing with a Virgo, Scorpio. Um, I think I've said those already. Um, Taurus, Libra, Leo, Aquarius. And I keep getting Gemini. This is about surrendering. Surrendering and releasing. Healing as well. This is a very deep message for somebody. And I hope that it finds you. This can be at any time that you find this reading. It doesn't just ha it just have to be for February. It can be any time that you come across this. So that's what I have. If you would like to get a personal reading with me, the information is in the description box below. Please don't forget to like this video. Comment if this resonates. Like this video. Subscribe to my channel if it resonates. Um, comment if it doesn't resonate roles can be reversed this could be somebody going through this around you it could be a friend a family member or a past love partner that's going through this this deeper knowing this deeper level of understanding the subconscious of who they are as a person there's a lot of there can be recovery here not with this person but on your own that's what it feels like so yeah please subscribe to my channel really it really does motivate me it really does um mean the world to me and hit all notifications that way you know the next time I upload and as always I love you I love you guys so much please take care of yourself until next time